and have it teed up and ready to go. And the Chanticleers in their white uniforms will start on offense. So the Southern man-to-man, -man, the sixth man of the year is starting, Elijah McCaffrey. Garrett Green, the LSU transfer, drives, gets cut off the pass. Low block, they go to Mustafa. Eight on the shot clock. Deba will take the three and hit it. Good sign for Coastal when Abrima Deba, their 6'6 point guard, nails the three to start the game. They dared him and he stuck it. He doesn't take a lot of them, but he's shooting a really high percentage. He's a much better passer than he is a shooter, but that really helps. Trey Cobbs transfer from Kentucky Wesleyan by way of Northern Kentucky. Georgia Southern's got one of the most veteran and oldest rosters in college basketball. A ton of transfer portal guys who are close to 26 years old as the player right there, Grant Weatherford, number 23, who absorbed the contact. He's the third oldest player in college basketball today. Vince Cole won an add one, and Pat Adams just said, enough talk and play basketball, young man. Drive to the hoop, and McCadden is fouled on the play. So take a look at the starting five for the Eagles. McCadden, Cobbs, Yusupatis, Weatherford, and Toyambi. Vince Cole is, is talking to Pat Adams and saying, that's enough, stop talking. You got to learn. Pat Adams isn't going to take that stuff from us. Uh, we got a veteran crew here with Pat Adams and Chuck Jones. Neither one of those guys is going to take any guff. Derek Schulte also working this crew as well as McCadden hits the free throw. I did a very early game for Coastal Carolina. I looked up Vince Cole's bio and, uh, when he was at St. John's, and it said a bucket maker, a very apt description. Coastal wants to run if they get the opportunity because Steve is such a good passer. Pass to the low block and Mustafa. 7-1 lead for Coastal. Great position inside for Mustafa. All he had to do was turn and shoot it. Inside move too far underneath the basket for Toyambi, whose aspirations are to be a medical doctor. He's already applied to medical school, transfer from Cincinnati. Had a couple of interviews already. Wants to be a sports physician. He'll know the game. He'll be able to deal with the injuries from it. Toyambi sets the screen and knocked out of his hands by Rudy Williams. And Mustafa really active, coming way up there to double team Elijah McCadden and slapped the ball, but slapped it last. So Georgia Southern will get it with not a lot of time left. Sabrasov checks into the game and Cobbs comes out. Nine on the shot clock for the Eagles. Saprasov right off the bench, firing the three and hits the first bucket of the game for Georgia Southern. As the shot clock buzzer went off, good recognition of the clock. He's out of St. Petersburg, Russia, by way of Texas Tech, of course, where Brian Berg was an assistant coach under Chris Beard. Mustafa down there banging with Toyambi, shot it long. Green gets the rebound. In traffic, puts it in. The ultimate glue guy for Coach Ellis. The ultimate glue guy is Garrett Green. He makes all the, the uh, dirty play, not dirty in a bad way, dirty in a digging down plays, and he makes big shots at big time. Wow. That is Usapitis. Getting Usapitis knocked down the three. Deba, turnaround, rebound, battle for it, won by Toyambi. Sabrasov, the miss. Actually, that yes, that was Sabrasov that time on the miss. Deba in the paint, had it knocked out of his hands and off the hands of the Eagles. Reba Diva wants to push the pace. If he's got guys throwing lanes, it's better. But as you saw the last couple times, he can just take it inside. He's 6'6", as a point guard, so he's got a size advantage on basically everybody that covers him. 
but somebody's bigger than him covering him, he's quicker. Rudy Williams, trigger man on the inbounds. Mitchell loves that block to block screen from the top, getting inside to Mustafa. Ball steal. stolen away by McCadden. Passed into the corner and stepping out of bounds on the play. Cam Bryant, poor pass from McCadden right there. Not really filling lanes. They were kind of bunched up and then tried to throw it to somebody in the corner. And as you said, it was not a good pass. Brian Berg in his second season as the Eagles head coach. 25 and 28 is record. Looking forward to getting out there and recruiting. Because of COVID, he really hasn't had an opportunity to do any in-house visits since he took over as the Eagles head coach. He was named the head coach on March 29, 2020, or about two weeks after the world shut down. He said, guys, signed and showed up before he ever met him. He said, hi, I'm Coach Bird, when he first, they first came on campus. Most of the interviews, most of the recruiting had to be done, done by COVID, uh, because of COVID, done over Zoom. Green, three ball, in and out. Mustafa, the offensive board, and miss. Eagles down two as they cross half court. McCadden in the corner, buried the three ball, turned around and sent something to the coastal bench after he did it, and Georgia Southern has the lead. Yes, he did, a little comment. That's Rudy Williams' go-to, that little spin and backstep. He just didn't make it. Caden Archie stops on the baseline and missed the jumper. Deep of the rebound and pushes for Coastal. Rudy Williams in traffic. Coastal Carolina. I'm sure it was not lost on Coach Ellis today as the lower seeds were battling with the higher seeds and knowing that he was going to be in one of those games today as a higher seed against the 10th seeded Georgia Southern Eagles. And you know he watched them and you know he made that point to his basketball team as well. Eight on the shot clock, Archie gets it back to Bryant. Cam Bryant launches the three, and Mustafa the rebound for Coastal. Inside, Mustafa runs into a double team. Bounced into Bryant. Let's see what the call is going to be. I believe a foul on Bryant, and it will be. As Bryant picks up his first personal, that'll be the second team on Georgia Southern. Stafford does a good job of getting the baseline position. If he stopped a little sooner, he wouldn't have to dribble it. He could just turn and shoot it. But he got it outside the lane, so he had to dribble it. 6'9", 270. Redshirt sophomore out of Cairo, Egypt. Averaging nearly a double-double, over 13 points and 9.5 and rebounds per game. He was right at 60% during the season, and late in the year, he really, from the free throw line, really upped it to around 64. He gets fouled a lot. He takes more free throws than anybody on his basketball team, so he can pay it off if he makes it the free throw line. Well, he's had a big target on his back this year and drawn a lot of double teams, things that he didn't see last year. Teams are caught on to him, don't want to leave him alone down there. And that's a nice banking shot by Kamari Brown on the drive. Serious elevation on a little back shot. Amari Brown out of Panola College to average 11 points per game in his career there before signing with the Eagles. Big time mismatch in the post. They just can't get him to stop for the ball. Lakai kicks to the corner. Seven on the shot clock. Rudy Williams stops and pops. Rebound by Archie. Caden Archie brings it across for Georgia Southern. The defense by Georgia Southern and force a late shot, late shot in the clock. Defense, 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 
Trey Cobbs to drive. He averaged 18 a game a year ago playing for D2 Kentucky Wesley. He made Josh Udige look bad, blew right by him that time. No help side since he took it away from the top of the circle. Three-point lead, Georgia Southern. Mustafa in there, banging bodies, left-handed, forced it in. He's a righty, but he's really good with his left hand around the basket, as you saw right there. Cybersoft could do nothing about it. Here's the 3-2 zone, Will Lakai, 6-9 at the top. You're saying he's amphibious? He's amphibious, like Chris Washburn, yes he is. Three ball on its way, missed by Kamari Brown that time. Ziva brings it up. Trying to take it coast to coast. To the corner it goes. J misses the three. Rebound Mustafa. Backing in, off glass, nice touch. Third basket for Mustafa. Left-handed, the thing that I love about Mustafa, he always rebounds with two hands. He was taught well, either before he got to Coastal or while he was there, but he always rebounds with two hands. One point lead for the Chanticleers. Cobbs, three. Samprasov, offensive rebound, missed up close. Uta J grabs it for Coastal. In the corner, Lakai. Long rebound, battle for it, scooped up by the Eagles. Bryant, Saversoff, layup. Easy bucket, three on one. Uh, the Green David could do nothing about it. Saversoff, great job filling the lanes, getting an easy one for the Eagles. One point lead for Georgia Southern. Mustafa banging in there with Bryant. And we'll... Vince Cole. And it goes down. <laughs> Vince Cole, second bucket for him. Number one in the Sun Belt three-point shooter has not tried a three-pointer yet today. Shots play zone and then you go to man after a certain number of passes. That's what they did in this possession. Bryant, that's a three, and that's a make. A little pin down screen for Bryant. Defense didn't get around the screener. Bryant paid it off. Two-point lead, Georgia Southern. Cole, long three, and foul's going to be called on Georgia Southern. Underneath, I believe, Toyambi. Watch Bryant here come off a little pin down. The defense gets stuck on the screen. It was Lakai that gave him just enough room to get the shot off, and he stuck it. It's Sean Thomas, the LSU transfer in for Mustafa right now. Foul was called on Toyambi, that's his first. Cole working against Weatherford, launches it up there. Battle for the rebound, controlled by Coastal. Uta J banks it in. Freshman from London, England, big time athlete. They think he's gonna be really special. He's just learning the game at Coastal Carolina. He has given the Chanticleers a spark off the bench this season. That was his first bucket of the game. Ties us at 19. Amazing athlete to go up and get rebounds, so he can really have some lift. Cadden off the mark, and rebound controlled by Coastal. Deepa pushes it again, but doesn't he always? Yes, he does, and that's what he's looking for. Cole got his man in the air, takes the three off the iron. And then it comes McCadden, got numbers, two on one. Toyambi puts it in. Every time there's an advantage for Georgia Southern, there's one guy back. It's a Green Madiba, but there's two or three guys for the Eagles, and they've gotten layups out of both of them so far. Two-point lead, Georgia Southern. Back in his zone, two-three zone for the Eagles. That's where Diva's a great distributor in the middle at the free throw line. Uta J right there in the middle of the zone had it knocked away. 
Bryant behind the back and the layup. Sports Center top 10 nominee by Cam Bryant on the pass and completion there to McCadden. Great pass. UJ got a little too aggressive in that zone. Three guys in there and they slapped the loose. Now they're back man to man. The Eagles are. This is the Eagles' biggest lead of the game. They're up by four. It's a play called from the bench. Lakai attacks, miss, tipped out, Eagles running. Shots have had trouble this year, and they miss a multitude of layups. Bryant in and out on his three. U to J rebound. He was the coach on the floor. Coach Ellis has a lot of trust in him to read the D and attack it appropriately. Georgia Southern's done a great job. It's taking away early shot opportunities for the Shots. Cole had it. Slogan's 12 seed Little Rock Trojans in the quarterfinals on Saturday. The rest of you, the Hercules Tire Sun Belt Championship. The winner of this one advances to play number two seed and defending tournament champion App State. Inside rebound and put back. Carlos Curry in the ball game, getting his first action. And they made up a new stat that's called a Roya, R-O-O-Y-A, rebound out of your area. That's exactly what he just did. Six assists, ten field goals, just one turnover for Georgia Southern. They have been sharp here in the opening 13-plus minutes. Roya's going to catch on. He's got to give a little time. The stop up back to the basket. Had it knocked away. Last touch by the Eagles. Only two on the shot clock. Here's your Roya for you. Roya, rebound out of your area. Just go get it and then put it back in. You know, early in the game, I thought it was a mismatch when Trey Cobbs was guarding Mustafa. But that's who's guarding him more times than not. Two on the shot clock. Got to go. They did get iron on the shot by Garrett Green, but out of bounds. Got to do what you got to do with only two. So Coastal's offense, after getting off to a pretty quick start, jumping out to a six-point lead at 7-1, they have been outscored 24-12 to since that moment. Yeah, they were up, they were 50%, now they're at 38%, 9 for 24 from the field. For the Southern, 10 for 21, aided by a couple fast break layups. Seeds trying to do some damage again inside McCadden. Nice play. Couldn't get the payoff, however, and a whistle. Foul's going to be called on Coastal. This is going against Garrett Green. And Green just picked up his first personal foul. McCadden just got right down the middle. Nobody near him against the zone. Watch McCadden. Yeah, He's going to get the happen? ball and come. Pick and roll. Not, not a, actually, not a pick and roll. Just there a little no roll. Yeah, just a roll. No pick, just roll. Whatever works. Cadden hits the free throw. 3-2 Journey just split the two bottom guys. Got hammered when he put it up. The Sun Belt Conference's sixth man of the year who actually started today. Leading scorer so far, either team, he's got seven. Mustafa, the rebound. He's got six of those already. Michael Rudy Williams go left. Good move because it's tough when he goes right. Not much out of Williams or Cole so far for Coastal. Sean Teclair's absolutely got to get something for one or both of those guys in order to go far in this tournament. Diva underneath. Actually, Garrett Green pardon me underneath. Ball comes out, McCadden leading the break for the Eagles. Step through, floater, rolled it in. McCadden looking good. He's got nine. All the loose balls are going to the Eagles, and they're aggressively going in transition and getting multiple shots in the lane. 9-0 run by Georgia Southern to snap a 19-19 tie. Sean's want to get an early shot in the shot clock, and Georgia Southern just doesn't let him do it. 
Cole, three-pointer on its way. Another miss by Cole out there. Long kick out rebound. It's saved by Coastal. Cole's 0 for 3 on his threes. Remember, he's the number one three-point accurate shooter in the conference, but not so far tonight. Made sure he was behind the line, and Diva missed it. And they're leaving him open. They're daring him to shoot. He made the first one, missed that one. Coastal is one for seven on their threes. That three by Diva on his opening shot is the only one they've hit behind the arc. Diva driving coast to coast with the left hand laid it in. It's a five minute drought for the Chanticleers. So the opening took advantage of it. And the Chanticleers are good in this defense. They're active and they slap balls away. Kind of letting Georgia Southern go where they want and chasing him to that spot. Archie comes out to get it. Seven on the shot clock. Archie spin move in the paint, fading away, and Archie buries it. Archie, one of the top recruits in the country when he signed out of Dallas, Texas with TCU, a four-star, and the number 26 small forward in the country. Big time play right there. Ryan Berg established that relationship with him when he was at Midlothian High School there in Dallas. Didn't get him at Texas Tech and didn't get him. He went to UTEP and now got him here at Georgia Southern. Timeout if this goes in, you would think, for the shunts. Archie missed the three and clears the 34 and a half. Shunts were at 50% early in the game. They jumped out to a 7-1 lead, but they have been outscored 29-14 to 14 since then. A big three and a half minutes for Georgia Southern to build on this leader for Shunts to get back in it. Kamari Brown, he gets some serious elevation yes, on his does. jump shot. Yes, he does. Even when nobody's around him. Bounced into Mustafa. He's backing down. Left handed hook off back iron. Savras off the rebound. Too many missed layups for the big man for the shot to clear his early. Amari Brown, this time he doesn't leave his feet very much and missed the shot. Another three ball missed by Cole, who's really struggling right now. He's over four. Kamari Brown goes all the way through, coast to coast with the left handed layup. Coach Ellis is not happy, obviously, with the defense, but he wants the ball inside. It's got to touch the paint. The stopper doesn't have to shoot it, but it's got to touch the paint, which will open up so many more opportunities. Double digit lead for Georgia Southern. They lost by 20 to these guys a month ago. And that is an offensive foul on Rudy Williams. Good call. He Number he had, one on him. Thought he had the advantage. Trey Cobbs is right there to stop it. Kamari Brown gets it and goes right down the floor and another in the paint easy bucket. And then watch Trey Cobbs. There's the Rudy Williams drive. Saversov is beat, but Trey Cobbs in the right place at the right time. Turnover shot to clears. I'm not sure that Georgia Southern is out hustling Coastal Carolina, but it cert you certainly get that perception watching the game. They're playing a lot smarter than they are right now by getting transition opportunities, and by getting what they want when they want. Cobbs on the drive, lost the dribble, picked up by Diva. Run out opportunity for Coastal. Cole will take another three and miss another three. Good 0 luck. for 5 cold on his three-point shots to start this game. It was a game earlier in the season. He missed his first 10. And the uh, Coach Ellis called him over during the free throw, and he said something to him, and I know what he said. Shoot the basketball, and he made his next four. Savrasov, left-handed hook shot way off the mark. Diva run out for Coastal. Georgia Southern's given him an opportunity to get back in this thing. They've made one of probably the last four shots. Rudy Williams spin move in the paint. Shot blocked by Yusupitis. <laughs> Stepping into a three, Trey Cobbs the miss. Mustafa the rebound. He's already got nine of those. 13-2 run Georgia Southern. And Coastal has missed 11 of their last 12 shots. Cole 
backing down against Cobbs, missed up close. That's a tough shot. And coming back to the left hand against Cobb. Inside, Saprasov, spin move, keeps it alive and puts it in. Georgia Southern is on a... The 12 seed beat the five. In the other case, the six came back and beat the 11 after trailing with under four minutes to go. Johnson. Here, the 10 seed leads by double digits. Johnson need an easy one here to feel a little better going in that locker room. The three-point play would be great with an and one. Rudy Williams is going to do it on his own. Fraction of a second between the game clock and the shot clock here, winding down this first half. Williams sinks the three, and maybe that's the big shot that Coastal needed. Look at his shooting percentage. The great John Wooden looked at one stat and one stat only. If you shoot a better percentage, you're getting better shots. Three-point percentage is not good for either. A lot, not a lot of free throws, but look at the bottom one, 18 to 2 in bench points. Yeah, the Eagles bench, even though McCadden started, they're still getting great bench points tonight. Saversov, or Yusupitis, pardon me, that was Yusupitis who got fouled before the shot by Deba. It's all about winning it at the defensive end in this second half for either team. you got to score points, but the defensive end is going to either get Coastal back in it or Georgia Southern's going to have a huge victory here because of how they played defense. They did it in the first half. Can they continue it for 40 minutes? Shots in the zone. Cobbs, they left him open for three, thought about it, then passed it up because Mustafa was out there. Use a Pitas, who was a big time scorer at D2 Flagler College, lights it up with a three pointer and a 13 point lead for Georgia Southern. Catch and shoot, nobody near him defensively. Deba goes right by the defense and lays it in. He can do that, and he does it exceptionally well at six foot six as a point guard. This 13-point lead for the Eagles matches their largest of the game. Cobbs, three-pointer, Eagles on top by 16. That's tough for Mustafa to get there. That's a long way to run for a big man, and Cobbs drilled it. After that three-pointer, Cliff Ellis just looked down his bench and said, is there somebody that can help here? We got somebody who wants to step up and help us win here. Toll, three, got it. That's his first three of the game after missing four of them in the first half. It's a great set play. They go to the block on the left side, and Garrett Green sets a back screen for Vince Cole to skip pass, and Cole pays it off. Cole averages 15 a game. He's got seven tonight. Coach is just letting Georgia Southern go where they want and guarding him. you got to stop him from going where they want to get back in this thing. You're getting drilled pretty good here. Three on the shot clock. Weatherford has to shoot, and he hits it. Wow. Grant Weatherford, the transfer from IUPUI, nailed a three with the buzzer ringing in his ears. Averages 2.1 a game. Starts because of his effort. Mustafa in there battling, got knocked off balance. He'll go to the foul line. Toyami popped him, I think. Grant Weatherford. We're not going to guard him. He's not going to shoot it. Little jab step you learn when you're six years old, big time. And watch the reaction. You can't guard me. In this COVID era, he is the third oldest player in all of college basketball. He's 26 years old. Dare say he's older than some assistant coaches in D1 college basketball. I would agree with that statement. Or close to it. No, he could very well be. No, I, mean, I said it half facetiously, only half. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some 25 or 26 year old assistants out there. He's older than. He stopped with the miss and Weatherford gets up there and gets a rebound. 13 point lead, Georgia Southern. 10 seed looking to knock off the 7 seed. To the corner. 
three ball miss. And a stop with the rebound. He's double digits rebounds now with 10. And Diva fouled. He goes one speed, doesn't he? Yeah, all out. That's it. There's gear seven. There's no one, two, three, four, five, or six. Nice little crossover, and there's the bump. That's a good call. Cam Bryant got it pretty good. Prima Diva at the line. Averages just under eight points per game, right at six assists per game. Number five, Coastal Carolina all time assist. From Sweden. Played at St. Benedict's Prep, however, New Jersey. Is that the Hurley scheme? Pardon me? Isn't that what the Hurley scheme out of? Is it, or am I getting it wrong? No, not St. Benedict's. That's, uh, I don't know. If you wouldn't have asked me, I could have told you. Well, think about it. You'll remember about 3 o'clock this morning. I will, and I'll wake up and say, up I know what it was. Time. You can tell me tomorrow. They're supposed to be Hurley's coached by their dad. Yep. It is a parochial school, but it's not St. Benedict's. St. Anthony's, that's right. Same. Georgia Southern's just moving quicker than Coastal can react to so far. Floater in the miss. Mustafa snags the rebound. Great shot to Nevin Angle, but great shot to couldn't make it. Coastal a chance to cut it below double digits. With a bucket here on this possession. Cole inside. It's knocked to the deck. He'll go to the line. Well, the point was made at halftime, I'm sure, by Coach Ellis. Get that thing in the paint. I don't care if you feed the big guy or drive it, but get it in the paint. And they're getting fouled. They're going to the free throw line. Coastal three of seven at the foul line in this game. Free throw make by Cole, wherever the vehicle, whatever the terrain, Hercules tires has the muscle to move you. Be confident driving in all conditions with a safer, smoother ride at HerculesTires.com. Hercules tires ride on our strength. Here's the blue man. Green got the rebound. And then they coughed it back up and coughed it back up again. Cole ends up with it. We'll take a three and hit it. It's amazing. If he sees free throws go through as a great shooter normally does, he just feels it. That turned into a four-point possession for Coastal. They've cut it to seven. All because of Garrett Green's aggressiveness to keep the rebound alive on the cold miss. Free throw miss. Savrasov backing in. One from the Chanticleers, Asia Blunt in that first round. That's a lot of points. A lot of points. That's more than Coastal scored here so far tonight. Yep. Sabrasov with a wild right-handed hook. Coastal, you get the feeling they're starting to grab the momentum back here. Deba with the left hand, scoops it up and in. Great shot by Deba. He's got 11. It was spectacular. Inside, Savrasov gets tied up. Ball scoots out of there. It's still bouncing around. Belongs to the Chanticleers. All of a sudden, they got a little juice on defense. The guys from Coastal Carolina, when they get those hands active, they're so athletic that they're so much better. They didn't do that for about the first three quarters of the game, but here we go. Can they continue it? And can Georgia Southern counterpunch? We will find out. Coach Ellis calling a set against a zone. Now he just said, nope, it's a zone, just attack it. 2 3 zone. They could organize a little quicker than that, only 15 left. There's the distributor. Diva right in the middle of that zone. Hard shot off the backboard. Rebound controlled by the Eagles. And a traveling call on Georgia Southern. I think Diva wanted to throw it into Mustafa, realized he wasn't open once he got in the air. And then just threw it up off the glass. Unfortunate circumstance there for Kamari Brown, who got the rebound, ended up on his back, and was called for the travel. 
Williams in deep, spin move, left it short. Rebound, Sean to clears. Attacking the basket, Lakai hammers it down. Will Lakai drops the hammer, and the lead has been cut to three. The little shot fake throws the defense, and Will Lakai went Kai maybe with the game to bucket to turn the momentum for the shot to clear, as we will see. Coastal has cut it to three. They've led or trailed by as much as 14 in this game. Another steal. Cut to the basket, intercepted by Coastal, but we do have a whistle on the floor. Pat Adams calling the foul. This will go against Caden Archie. Gr grab Rudy Williams after he stole the basketball. Only six fouls called in this half so far, but not really. 14-3 run for Coastal Carolina over the last four and a half minutes, an 11-0 run over the last three and a half. Vince Cole and Mustafa on the bench. We'll see where the points come up for the shots. Rudy Williams blows by the defense and gets the bucket. Great call. They cleared out the whole side of the floor. Got it to him at the top of the circle. No help side. And as you aptly described, blew by for a layup. Lead is down to one. Blue Jealous, the master tactician over there. He's got his team back in this thing. McCadden pushes it up there and in. That breaks an over four minute and 15 second scoring drought for Georgia Southern. There we go. Good job by Elijah McCadden to get another bucket. Ball knocked away and Bryant couldn't chase it down before it went out of bounds. Not a great idea for that fan to jump up and catch it. No, that's a good way Elijah to get McCadden was flying at him. <laughs> that's a good way to have a face to face collision. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with sitting in your seat and watching because there's a player chasing that ball. I guess it was Bryant that was chasing it. He goes to the bench. Catch it at your own risk sitting in that front row seat. Rudy Williams again to Deba. Deba the floater, shot it short. Rebound controlled by the Eagles. McCadden brings it up, gets it to Archie. He might have got a piece of that and there's a four foot that went about two feet. Wow, collision and no whistle, a travel call. Not sure about that one. It looked like uh, Deba put the chair out and backed away, but I agree, a couple bodies bumped there. Mike McCann got the worst of it, hit the deck, hit his lip, and also got the travel against him. That'll be a turnover, a tough luck turnover for Georgia Southern right there, number six. Rochelle is calling another set. Trying to get the ball in the scorer's hands it out with two times, because just two scorers are out of the ball game. Foul gonna be called on Archie, number two on him. And that is five team fouls on Georgia Southern. They knew Rudy Williams was coming off the screen and Caden Archie wouldn't let him and impeded his progress, hence the foul. Archie's still talking about it. Rudy Williams is a designated scorer out there with this five that's on the court as far as the outside. Scored only seven so far tonight. Averages just under 14 a game. And a 43% three-point shooter. He's taken only one so far. Missed the layup that time. Thomas the rebound. In there in traffic. Ball scoots out of his hands. Here's McCadden. McCadden got it back and put it in on the floater. Roger McCadden's getting a little rhythm back here. Back-to-back -back buckets for him. He's the Eagles' leading scorer with 13. It's a five-point lead for Georgia Southern. He took the initial blow, a little counter punch. Will apply some full-court pressure here. The kicker is he didn't even have the ball. He was cutting through the middle. Good job by Georgia Southern getting his way and draw that foul. Lee Williams will run the show now offensively. Archie in there, missed up close, got fouled. Caden Archie going to the line. 
Interesting. Georgia Southern got that four or five point lead back, and the aggressiveness comes back to their team yeah. offensively. Oh, 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 oh. Absolutely right. Elijah Mustafa. McCadden did it back to back buckets. First foul on Mustafa. Archie at the line for two. Eagles two of five at the foul line. Gets the second. Back to a six point lead for Georgia Southern. Smart move, Georgia Southern. Put McCadden on, Rui Williams, put more heat on him because he's got to run the show now. He's done it before, but of course he's not the diva that does it all the time. Rudy Williams. Gives it to you to Jay. He's going to attack the basket and foul on the Eagles. There's the athleticism of the freshman from London. They're driving. The shots are driving the ball from the top of the circle right there. There's no help side. So if he beats his man, he can get to the rim. And McCadden comes over. I don't know who they gave the foul to. It could have been McCadden. No, it was uh, Kamari Brown picked up the foul. He's the one who got six, beat initially. Yeah, first team, first personal, and six team fouls now. And Georgia Southern, UDJ misses the free throw. Wow, these two, both these teams struggling at the free throw line. Coastal's four of ten. Georgia Southern's three of six. Which you always talked to us this week. He said missed free throws have cost us a lot of games, especially late. They got one of the two, and it's back to a five-point game. With just over 11 to play here in Pensacola. McCadden has big-time size matchup on Rudy. We're going to see if he takes advantage of that. Archie trying to get around the lane. Left it short. Big play underneath by Toyambi. Shot was way short. Didn't hit anything, but... Toyambi, right place, right time, put it right back in. Seven point lead. Georgia Southern has led for over 22 minutes and Coastal for less than six. Cole working against Archie, drives and got the bounce. Josh, Cole you, with 13. Josh, you, Jay, he almost got in his way, but realized he was driving and got out of the way. And Vince Cole can create one when he wants one. Cole is tied with Archie, or may, make that McFadden, pardon me, and uh, Team I game high honors. Use a Pitus three point off the mark. Rudy Williams tempo. Inside Mustafa against Toyambi. Well, he had an easy one and he dribbled away from it. Didn't turn the ball over though. Williams attacking and lost it. Toyambi ends up with it. And McCadden got fouled on the play by Udij. 50-50 ball to go into the Georgia Southern Eagles here late. Well, I should not late, halfway through this half. Somebody's got to take it out of bounds, gentlemen. She the clears, putting a little more heat on him. And again, this pressure, I think, is, you know, just to slow them down, make it, take it, you know, by the time they get into their offense, Absolutely. they've run, you know, half the shot clock. Yusupitis had it slip out of his hands. Good call. And a foul on Yusupitis. That's a good call. Vince Cole slapped it loose, went to chase it, and Yusupitis wouldn't let him get near the ball and grabbed him. Vince Cole gets up and Yusupitis' face slaps it loose right there, contact right there. And then Yusupitis with that right arm keeps Vince Cole from getting it and finally knocks him down. So that's going to be seven team fouls on the Eagles. So the Shanta clears with nine and a half minutes to go are now in the bonus. Could be a contributing factor, we will see. Uh, could be a good or a bad thing because the Shanta yeah, clears true. have not been hitting their freebies. They're five for 11. Cole good. 
He's got 14. Sitting over there in the bench, we talked about Deeb. He's got to stay in this game mentally. He's going back in the game. It's just a matter of when. And if he doesn't stay in it mentally, he goes in, creates that next foul, and he's done. A couple of free throws there by Cole. He has 15, and Coastal's back to within three. Defense by Cole and use the pipes right there. Bryant lobs inside to Sabrasov and a foul's on Coastal. Lakai is called for the foul. That'll be his second, and that is the sixth team foul on the Chanticleers. Pick and roll, you see just grabbing around the waist like he's dancing, but you can't do that. You can, you just can't do it in front of the official when he calls it. Or you can, and it's going to be called a foul. This is what happened. Ten on the shot clock. Cobbs pounding the floor. Five on the shot clock. Bryant, three! And bottom of the net for Bryant. How many Second of, three for him, eight for the Eagles. How many of those late shot clocks have Georgia Southern stuck for a big time three. Grant Weatherford did it. Zapiatis did it. Shot clock's going down. Little jab step, Lakai backs off, bingo. Single digits on that clock. They add up. Six point lead in this one. There's not been a lot of set in this game, although Georgia Southern bolts out to a 14-point lead in the first half. The pace has slowed down a little bit, too. Not a lot of transition opportunities either way. Turned into a half-court game. Inside Mustafa and a double team. He got fouled. Let's see who they're going to call it on. Cam Bryant, third team foul on him. Mustafa, Mustafa established really good position. And Bryant from behind tried to slap it away. Many times than not, that's going to be called a foul. Mustafa hits the free throw. Posting up deep, and there's Bryant from behind. He hit the ball, but he also hit him with the body. Great camera shot up yep, there. Yep, it is. Mustafa, eight points, 11 rebounds in 25 minutes. And missed the second. They have not taken advantage of those opportunities and hit both free throws on most occasions. They've split those. They got in the bonus early, and you're right, they can't take advantage of another deep three. Look Bryant at this. Bryant strokes it. Third three-pointer for Cam Bryant. You're not going to catch up when you're making one or two free throws. The other team's drilling threes. Sophomore helped lead Dutchtown in the Atlanta area to a state championship. Eight-point lead, Georgia Southern. Saversoff with the steal and the dunk. Andre Saversoff score the Warhawks 15 to five in the last three plus minutes of the game to survive that one in advance. And here, Georgia Southern, they have led 25 minutes in this game and they lead by double digits again. They've led by as much as 14. Coach Ellis rolling the dice a little, but he has to put Nibri Mediva back in the game. Down 10 with seven and a half to go. A couple of other possible commonalities if this result holds it will be the second time today that a team that had been beaten twice in the regular season came back and beat that team in the third meeting happened today with louisiana and ut arlington an adjustment there mustafa gets it in the post doesn't even make a move because he knows he's got cutters and ibrima diba goes down the middle gets fouled going to go to the line for I think two, yes, it's two. And the depth of this game has been so apparent for Georgia Southern. They have outscored Coastal Carolina 27-5 to in bench points. 
nine to six man of the year wasn't part of that. Yeah, he started. Yep. McCadden is their leading scorer, the sixth man of the year in the Sun Belt with 13, but he started today. So he doesn't even be, he's not even included in the 27 well, that they've gotten about, from their bench. Talk about the experience Coach Berg has, the upperclassmen, and it's really paying off in this basketball game so far. Been there, done that's a huge factor. Seven on the shot clock. McCadden fires to the corner. Archie with three on the clock. Cobbs at the buzzer. Had to fire. Ball is loose. Deba on the deck. Foul is going to be called on Georgia Southern. Toyambi is called for the foul. That'll be number three on him. The other factor that's huge is, and I'm just thinking back, how many times Georgia Southern hit a late clock three? Steve slaps it loose right here, and Toyami's just going for the ball, but as you can see, he tackles to bring the Debo. Debo with 11 points, eight rebounds, four personal fouls. He's two of three at the foul line tonight. Eight misses for Coastal at the stripe. They make that one there to cut it to nine. Well, they got to have the mentality now in this situation with a little under seven. It's score, stop, score multiple times. Yeah, Coastal has more free throw misses than Georgia Southern has free throw attempts. That's not a good uh, analytic. Eight point game. Cobbs drives all the way with the left hand, and it rolled off the rim. Toyambi kept it alive, however, for the Eagles. Big time rebound in traffic to give his team another opportunity. Dr. Doy, Toyambi someday, we hope. Three on the shot clock. Cobbs with one, got it up, got the rim, and the rebound controlled by Garrett Green. Diva ahead to Mustafa, and one. For a big man that is 6'9", 250, he's a really good rim runner, and they find him all the time when he gets there. He's hurting a little bit right now. Uh, he's clutching his... It's a cramp. It's a cramp. He's yep. trying to rub out the cramp in his left calf muscle. Uriah Snowberger, the athletic trainer, will try to get that cramp, put some fluids in him, and stretch that thing out. He's got a double-double with that basket right there. Ten points and 11 rebounds. Hustling down the floor, beat the defense down there, and in heavy traffic was able to get the basket up and in. Big man working hard. Great pass from Diva, and he just gets to the rim. There's the foul, and there's the cramp. But he just runs to the rim. He knows Diva's going to find him. Definitely a foul, and an N1, and there he grabbed his right leg as soon as he hit the ground. And it doesn't look like he's going to be able to take the free throw here. Giving him two shots, are they? Put up two fingers. Oh, number two, Garrett Green's going to shoot. Yeah, Garrett's going to take the free throws. Yep. Mustafa is still trying to work that cramp out. Foul is on Bryant. That's four on him. So Green will take the free throw to try and complete the three point play. Deshaun Thomas will take the Prima Diva's place in the lineup. Mustafa. Oh, excuse me, right, Mustafa. Trying to run it off behind the bench. And it bounces around and goes. And the lead is back to five with just over six to go. It's Burke calling a set now for the sidelines. Ari Brown, his man fell down, and he gets it to go off the back iron. Clutch baskets at clutch times for the Georgia Southern Eagles so far in this basketball game to keep 
a working margin. Seven point lead for Georgia Southern. Deba working against McCadden gives it up. Deba again attacks the basket. Rolls off the rim. Rebound by Green. And jump ball is going to be called. Possession arrow in favor of the Chanticleers. And Mustafa up to the scores table wants to get back in, and he will. Point blank range missed, but Garrett Green keeps it alive after Deshaun Thomas's tip. And then there's number two and number two for the jump ball. So 19 on the shot clock. The question is, should it be 20? I think it should be 20. They got to put a second back in there, right? He did hit the rim. Yes, I would agree with you. And that's what they're trying to get the. There it is. Scores to have to fix it. Make the correction right there. We're all over the shot clock today. Inbounds, Deba had a shot. And then it got cut off. Lob to Mustafa. Banging with McCadden. He's in a double team. Gives it up to Green. He got fouled going up. Well, Mustafa's getting double teamed every time he gets it. And he's not forcing the shot. He found Garrett Green. And he'll go to the free throw line. Double bonus. Mustafa, decent post position. A little outside the block. And there comes the double. And Garrett Green's wide open. He found him, and he split the double. And he gets fouled by Saversov. No, yeah, by, uh, no, not Saversov. No, it was, yeah, it was on Saversov. Oh, okay. He picks up his second. I saw the two. I didn't see the one next to his jersey. The two, of course, by himself is McCartney. So Garrett Green back at the line. Eighth miss of the game for the Chanticleers at the foul line. They trail by seven. Double miss. Wow. That's big. We're just suddenly giving a motion sign. A lot of ball movement, a lot of body movement. Try to get an advantage. Use a lot of that clock. Brown, mid-range, buries it. Big time shot over Mustafa. Yeah, Kamari Brown's got eight points. He's four of seven from the floor and has seven rebounds as well. Strong game from we're just, Kamari Brown. We're just selling back in the 2-3 zone. Deep in the middle is the distributor if they can get him the ball. Cole got his man in the air, finds another spot on the three-point line. Rebound by Green with the offensive glass and put in. Great effort on Garrett Green's part to get it and put it right back in quick. Might not see his own next time down the floor. Green, three offensive rebounds out of his six total rebounds. McCadden drives the side of the lane. Back up top, it gets to Savasov and Kamari Brown off the back iron. Mustafa snags the rebound. Deba drives, left it short, Saversov the rebound. Six boards for him. Single digits on that shot clock. Next time Georgia Southern shoots at each possession, I would think. Seven point lead, Georgia Southern. We're approaching three and a half to go in this first round matchup. Saversov at the line. This is just their seventh free throw attempt of the entire game. Coach Berg told us he thinks the best basketball is ahead for this young man. He's really improved in one year, and he was only a junior, so he's got another one to go. Nine point lead for the Eagles. Time running out on Coastal Carolina. Winner of this game advances to play the number two seed, Appalachian State, defending tournament champions. Cole initiating contact, but the foul's going to be called on Georgia Southern on Archie. It's Cole ran a long way to get that ball, and then an even longer way to get to the rim. He started in the right corner, ran all the way around a, a couple of staggered screens, put it back on the right wing, and then drove it inside and got pumped. Got bumped. Archie was. Three personal fouls. Cole 
Cole is three of four at the foul line. Coastal is 11 for 21. McCadden in, Archie out. And it's funny how you talk to coaches and you know, sometimes they fix things and then sometimes the same old haunts come back to get you. And that's been the story for Coastal. That was one of the things that Coach Cliff Ellis lamented when we talked to him. He said, free throws. We've missed free throws. Yep. Haven't won games because we don't hit free throws. And that's not entirely the issue here today, but it has been one of them. Would have made it a lot closer if they'd made 70% as they normally shoot them. 55% at the free throw line. They're a 70% free throw shooting team for the season. We're just telling they're going to milk that thing down to single digits before they even look at the basket. We're under three to go in this one. Cut to Savrasov. He got fouled and he'll go to the line. What a pass by Kamari Brown to find him. Watch Kamari Brown get into the middle of the lane. Contact and Cybersoft with a nice cut, but Kamari Brown found him. And he's going to get two of the lines. Incredible pass. pass by Brown. Yep. He's had a solid game, 8.7 rebounds. McCadden, their leading scorer with 13. Saversov has 11 and 6 rebounds. And two of two at the line, make it three of three. The only pass he would have made it through there was a bounce pass, and that's exactly what he gave him. Saversov, nice catch. Trying to pay it off at the second free throw. Eight point lead, Georgia Southern. Things getting more dire and difficult for Coastal by the second. They haven't made a lot of them, but the Shawnee Clears have to stay aggressive and get it to the rim. Score with that clock stop. They can get a three point play out of it with an M1 even better, but Vince Cole is being guarded by Archie and he's not going to let him touch it if he can help it. Cole trying to spring himself free. Diva drives. Rudy Williams step back three and hit it with 10 seconds on the shot clock. A foul, but just to get a deflection. A little 2-2-1 two, two, press. Good job by McCadden. Draw two and then kick it back. Ten on the shot clock. Cobbs on the drive. Scoop shot hammered out of bounds on the block by Mustafa. Five on the clock. Mustafa timed that well. Yes, he did. Cobbs with the drive. Mustafa timed it perfectly. The only thing he didn't do is keep it in bounds. That was the first block for Coastal tonight. Five seconds on the shot clock. How you play this for Coastal? Well, you got plenty of set plays for Georgia Southern. You just got to play it straight up and hope they don't make a great shot at the end of a clock. Looks you like just don't want to bail them out with any kind of a foul here. Right, right. Cobb throwing it in. Inbounds and it's lost. Eagles cough it up. Great defense by Vince Cole to slap it loose. Rudy Williams pump fake. There's contact. He gets in the paint and missed off back iron. And Cobbs chases it down. Got run into by Garrett Green. Rudy Williams wanted a call. There was contact, but maybe not enough for a foul, but a little too strong on the shot. That will put Trey Cobbs at the foul line. Cobbs gets it and smartly just stops. Garrett Green runs him over. This is still one and one. Eagles not yet in the double bonus. Big make by Trey Cobbs. Six points, four assists for Cobbs. This makes it a three possession game if he can stick this one. Looks pretty cool customer at the free throw line there. Six point lead, Georgia Southern. 145 to go. 
and a big miss. Green snags the rebound. Still a two-possession game here for Coastal. Can't mess around with it. You got to do something quickly. Deba with I would agree. Just to make sure, for clarification's sakes, it should have been reset to 20. It didn't. Now the shot clock's at seven. Now it's at four, and Rudy Williams is fouled on his shot. Is this going to be a three-point shot? Two. Kamari Brown, that's two fouls on him, and this is two free throws for Rudy Williams. Ten for him today. Makes it 66-61. Some kind of press is coming. Chanticleers have a bunch of them they can choose. You can get a trap in the backcourt. Georgia Southern's been really good at drawing the trap and then kicking it back to the other teammate. Two makes for Rudy with Rudy Williams makes it a 66-62 game. Just like that. They've been really good at that press offense. Locked down to one minute to go in regulation. Probably the last time Shots will let it run. Oh, look at this. Savage saw wide open three and didn't make it. Mustafa the rebound. Ahead it comes to Cole. Williams in traffic. Kick out. Green. Three-point attempt. No good. Kamari Brown the rebound. He gets fouled by Mustafa. Wow. Coastal had an opportunity right there after the miss by Savrasov and a wide-open look for Garrett Green. Couldn't make it go. Couldn't ask for a lot more. Garrett Green was, as you said, wide open on the right wing. Just didn't make it. Tried to get it to Cole initially. Rudy Williams with the drive. So look at Garrett Green sitting all by himself. McCadden late on the closeout. He just didn't make it. So now the Eagles, if they can get their free throws here, can make things extremely difficult for Coastal. It's a big one. Amari Brown taking care of business at the foul line. He's now got nine. He's close to a double-double. Nine points, eight rebounds for Kamari Brown. 35 bench points for the Eagles of Georgia Southern. 35. And only five for Coastal. The depth of the Eagles away from advancing and becoming the second lower-seeded team to upset here in the first round. Diva. Running a lot of clock here. Rudy Williams holding the ball, drives in the paint, open look, banked it out right away. His face guarding everybody, not to try to get a five second call. Inbounds comes to Cobb, they're chasing him, they break it. Ahead it comes to McCadden. McCadden gets fouled on the way to the basket, ends up. Southern has the ball. Yeah, go to Inbounds to Saversov, it's stolen away. Coastal still has a chance. And Rudy Williams dribbled the ball off of his leg, and apparently the Eagles touched it last. And they're calling for a review, and they will probably review it. Good job by Georgia Southern not to give up on the steal. Watch him chase it down from behind. Off of his knee, and then off of the foot. The last contact I saw, or think I saw, was off the foot of Kamari Brown. Yep, I would agree. Number four in the blue. Watch. So he right. loses the ball, and then Kamari Brown kicks it with his right toe. Yeah, Kamari Brown. Trey Cobbs did not see that. That's why he was saying, let's review this. But the ball is going to be the Chanticleer's ball. But they're down to 13 and a half seconds. They're down four points. And they saw what we saw very quickly. And you know that everybody in a blue shirt on that sideline is saying, do not foul anybody. Vince Cole is probably going to get a three of Rudy Williams. A four-point play would be the worst thing the Eagles could see. So Deba will inbound. Still looking for the man to get it to. Cole off balance, battle for the rebound. Last touch by the Chanticleers. Mustafa had it with one hand. I think Eric Green knocked it out of his hands. And they're going to probably review this one. So let's see. 
Last touch by Mustafa. Mustafa or Garrett Green, one of them, and it looks like Mustafa, I agree. And either way, it's somebody with a white jersey on. So it will belong to Georgia Southern. Kamari Brown went after it, but he just couldn't get to it. And that's just Garrett Green and Mustafa going after the ball. It's not, it's not a bad play, they're just trying to get a basketball. So 9.6 seconds left in this one. Georgia Southern the inbounds. And they'll be fouled right away. They'll try to steal it. Well, yes, they'll go for the steal and then be fouled right away if they don't get that steal. Bounds comes to McCadden. He gets fouled. Williams fouled him. That's number three on him. McCadden at the line. Now remember, McCadden just missed two free throws a few moments ago. On the flagrant one, yes, he did. And he's just two of six at the foul line tonight. Why is that? I'm not. Criticizing the officials, but why is that not a flavor one? He pushed him in the back with two hands. Well, he was not driving to the basket. That's he wasn't off the ground. That's true. In the case of McCadden, he was he had no control. He's in the air. Much more dangerous play. Yeah, that's it's all about safety of the players. Good point. McCadden redeems himself after missing those two. Six-point lead, Georgia Southern, 8.2 to go. Inbounds comes to Rudy Williams. Coastal has to go fast. Pulls up, three-point attempt, rim out, battle at the rebound, and 